Hi, so I'm back to make another video, and uh, I just wanted to talk about how basically the reason why anyone is ending up going to hell when they die, if they die in their sins, okay, is because of demons. Demons are the reason why that ends up happening to people. Everyone likes to, like, blame the person, and they basically, for people who don't know about the spiritual uh, and how that's reality. Uh, they basically, even if they do, they'll have one foot in, one foot out sometimes where they'll realize that demons are real, except they'll also blame the person. Whereas you have to get past that and you have to be able to assign the reason for why someone's acting a certain way or if they have an addiction to a certain thing, which is a sin, potentially. Um, it's always, it always has a demon at the root of it that's literally always the case like literally i was just uh uh like in stories i've heard of like uh i heard a story of like a some crazy killer guy from like the early 1900s i believe named like albert fish and uh albert fish was among among doing freaking killings, which is, he had a murder demon, someone in his past genealogy and his family tree committed murder, which, um, made him predisposed and it had it, in, it like he had that in him now. That's what happens. If someone in your family tree, uh, commits murder, does any sort of heinous act, then, uh, now literally, uh, it's, you're basically cursed with a demon until you, sever all ties to your you break family bloodline curses you can do that verbally um one resource i've learned a lot about spirituals from bob larson on youtube um he's really good and knowledgeable okay i believe uh everything he's saying is correct and not to be not misleading and per on purpose in any way uh And, uh, yeah, so this Albert Fish, uh, was into some really perverse, sinful things, as well as the murder, because, you know, demons come in, uh, packs, if you have one, sometimes it really infests the person with many others, that's why people have downward spirals, uh, you know, uh, demons can cause, um, illnesses that are self done to oneself, literally, because they rule the mind. Once the, a demon can affect somebody's mind, the thing is, you know, um, so yeah, like, like for me personally, like a year ago, I'd listened to a, the song that, uh, I won't name, I guess, but well, I guess I should just don't watch it. It's, uh, what is it? Drive by Incubus. Yeah, not recommended to watch at all because it literally contra I contracted a demon from it, a demon of suicide. So, yeah, through watching that, I got a demon of suicide, which I then had thoughts I've never had in my entire life. And oh yeah, it was just a day, in, a day, and then the following week after listening to that song a bunch of times, that uh, the first time I've ever had suicidal inclinations came on to me my whole life. You know, so. You can contract a demon many ways, and that's why you see so many messed up people out there who can't get clean, and, you know, and they can't keep keep it together, and, like, you know, become successful in a general sense because they have demons plaguing them, addicting them to things that ruin their ability to hold down a life, really, for themselves. Uh, you know, I always knew uh, that... I always knew in the back of my head that like somehow some way there was something more going on than just the physical you know like somehow i had company and it wasn't a good kind it's because i was plagued with demons probably i was probably born into it to be honest like i was born with demons and they waited around in the background of my life um, while probably watching me the whole time and then they basically came out to like psychologically 
try to mess my whole life up and depress me to the point of my inability to do anything in life. And I've kind of fought through it, except the demons are the case of depression and, you know, you're just static and can't do anything. Yeah, if you ever see anyone who's depressed and static and can't get anything going really in their life, it's because they're demonically oppressed, 100%. It's, you could go the clinical psycholog psychological route and, like, diagnose them with whatever type of, you know, maladies that you'd that you could find that would fit their like you know whatever fits except the other way that you can look at it is that it's of demonic origins and that is the case you know the bible um you know says that not everyone i don't know where i'm quoting but you know the, the bible inc inclines that like not everyone is going to believe in god you know so obviously the world we live in is a world where the status quo opinion is not of a Christian view of how to view things, that there is a spiritual component to everything. So then everything's just going to be like, oh, it's just psychological. Your brain's just imbalanced. It's like, not really, because um, there's psychological, I mean, there's spiritual components that you have to take a look at for, so yeah, um, that Albert Fish character, he was into, like, weird freaking, uh, you know, weird messed up sexual things that he involved his children with, putting, like, pins in him or whatever. And the reason why that's so messed up, but he did it anyway, is because demons compelled him. They dragged him further and sucked him in to sin further until it basically corrupted his character. And he would be, it would be a very hard thing for him to get out of that, you know? That's what demons do. They try to pull you in farther, the sexual sin to the point where you can't even you can't even separate you from whatever was causing you to do whatever it was, you know. Um but the thing is is never allow demons to cause you to feel shame or guilt because that's literally just another tool in their repertoire of halting and ruining your life, hopefully sending you to hell by keeping you in your sins. So never, ever feel guilt or shame because you have to understand it's not you, it's literally a demon. Okay, that's it for now.